Thank you for holding this. It's very important that there be. Taliban and Al-Qaeda uh, still represent a very real threat, including, as we've seen in recent days, also in new geographic uh, dimensions uh, such as uh, Somalia. On the other hand, it is important for us, uh, and this has been our uh, key principle from the very start, that the fight uh, against terrorism needs to be conducted in full conformity with the principles of the rule of law and due process. Shortly after there was a decision and announcement, the U.S. administration uh, has looked in particular at this whole issue of the relationship uh, between fighting terrorism and the rule of law in general and the need to respect principles of international law and international humanitarian law also in the fight against terrorism. And if I may so say so, not in my capacity as chairman, because that would not be proper, but sort of as a personal comment, I do think that the signals we've received so far from the U.S. administration as far as this issue is, is concerned are encouraging. But there are other parts of Al-Qaeda and uh, Al-Qaeda associated groups elsewhere, which suggests that the threat is still quite lively, uh, albeit maybe um, not so pressing as it, as it was in, in areas of the Western world um, uh, in the immediate aftermath of, of the attacks here in 2001 and leading up to the last attack in the West, which is of course in 2005. But, and in Southeast Asia too, I think it's, it has dropped a little. but. Um, for member states in North Africa, the Middle East, and South Asia, it's still a very real threat. Canada, and there's reports that 